What's up guys, King and doing another Advanced Warfare video, and we have gotten a new trailer for the Havoc DLC map pack, and yeah, so uh, in this video we're going to be going over uh, all the details of the multiplayer maps, zombies, and uh, everything like that. Uh, I posted a video about uh, what this map pack, all the map names and extra zombies and stuff like that, because we got a uh, leaked poster for this map pack, but we don't know any of the details about the maps, and so I will link the official trailer down in the description, and yeah, so the first multiplayer map that we have is Core. So it says uh, the description for this map is deployed to the Gobi Desert, where the ravaged ruins of a nuclear fusion plant set the stage for a high octane war zone. Take down enemies through the wreckage in long range combat, or get up close and personal in the tunnels surrounding the central turbine. Activate decontamination drones using the map based score streak to help clean out the c competition. The next map is Urban, so prepare yourself for brutal high-speed combat in Dallas Ward 3, a future mega structure funneling players into close quarters free-for-all. This modular compound's verticality unleashes the exoskeleton's capabilities. Stay focused during the timed event as blast doors after the map's flow and sightlines. And the next map we have is Sideshow. So in the shadow of Devil's Tower, Wyoming, this abandoned motel open layout amplifies its creep factor. Blast your way through the Clown Inn with close quarter battles or use long range sight lines from the mining facilities and natural terrain. Use a map based score streak to activate the lights, music, and magic of the Clown Marquee and rain down a barrage of rainbow smoke trailed cannonballs. So with these cannonballs, you can pick them up and you can throw them at your enemies and kill them with it. And I think that's pretty cool. The last multiplayer map that we have in this map pack is Drift. So an idyllic ski resort high in the Rocky Mountains is transformed into a festive high-altitude playground. Perfect for an all-out firefight. Make your way to the highly contested Overwatch position in the glass observation deck or take a ride on the carousel to deliver 360 degrees of carnage. Players can use the map altering timed event to their advantage as an avalanche of snow and debris distorts, uh, disorients players intensifying the battle. So uh, those are all the multiplayer maps that we get. So just to recap, we get core, urban, sideshow, and drift. Now for exo zombies. So uh, before we get onto the description, um, there was a few images posted of uh, screenshots of these uh, all these maps, and the uh, file name for uh, the Exo Zombies one uh, has Havoc underscore Outbreak. So I assume this map's name is Outbreak um, with uh, the screenshots for all the uh, multiplayer maps. So for, say for Drift, it'd be Havoc underscore Drift dash Environment. Uh, so I assume this map is going to be called Outbreak. And, yeah, so, it says, get ready for a new breed of zombies. A DNA bioweapon unexpe unexpectedly spawns a bloodthirsty, uh, ravenous mutant horde infecting an, an entire secret Atlas research facility and sending personnel running for their lives. Following a failed evacuation, four survivors, untrained and underpowered, must face the most vicious mutations ever unleashed. The unique Exo Zombies co-op experience is all news Call of Duty Advanced Warfare DLC. This new bode brings the movements, abilities, and weapons of the exoskeleton into battle against the undead. And then we also get the AE4 uh, DLC weapon, and if you get the Season Pass or the Map Pack, you also get the AE4 Widowmaker. So, um... I just want to say, uh, since this map pack has not dropped yet, you can get access to the A4 and the A4 Widowmaker if you buy the season pass on any platforms. So, yeah. So this map pack uh, will drop on uh, January 27th on Xbox Live, so both Xbox One and Xbox 360, and it will uh, be released about a month later for PlayStation platforms and PC. So sometime in February, late February, uh, maybe early March. And yeah, so tell me what you guys think of all this in the comments down below. I'm really excited for Exo Zombies. I'm excited to see what they do with this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.